Now, let me ask you this, though, because that's a great point right there. At what point do you write a song and be like, I gonna get this away? Well, I mean, you ain't giving it away. You're getting a lot of money for it, but you know what I mean. At what point do you decide, well, you know what? Uh, yeah, we ain't gonna keep this one. We gonna, we gonna sell this to whoever. Like, uh, what's well, the thought before, process there? Okay. I said before we just, before we do our new deal and start working on our album, that's another thing. I mean, we, we always been in the room like, what is our song? What is our music going to sound like? Who are we going to be? What are we going to represent? And at this point of time, just in our careers and our lives, we just were like, we can't do nothing that nobody else could do. If we make a song and somebody else could do it, I don't think we should do it. You know what I mean? Because yeah. we never want a problem. So now, musically, we just totally like, I don't think there's an artist in the music business with a, who is releasing music that people know could do I'm that. Right. I, couldn't, I don't think we could have sell a song to somebody and they would have been like, yo, yeah, same, same. You know what I mean? That's right. just not, that's just, you know, so for us, our whole thing was musically, no. If you hear the album and you hear the music, nobody can do our songs. So, right. I mean, I don't mind when we, we, you know, when we do a song for Rihanna, like, you know, we've been we've been working Rihanna, working with Rihanna on her new album. And her new, the song that we do for her now is like, you good, you good, you good, Riri. We love them, but they ain't Rock City songs. I know the songs that we do for ourselves is Rock City songs, so. Because, awesome. like I said, Timothy said it before, in the past, we have done stuff where it's like, man, I know we don't have that problem. I know we just try to make sure our music is like, yo. It's like super original. No. It's just super original. You you can't, you know, it's okay. just our music. Uh, Nobody else could be. All right, now that, that brings me to another point, because, I mean, you could be, like, versatile to a fault. Like, how many... Like R and B type tracks, are there going to be on there? Are there going to be any reggae type tracks? Are there going to be any hip hop tracks? Is it going to be like a White Clef album? You know, like We Clef Jean, <laughs> he puts everything on an album. Um, is is it going well, to have yeah, that kind of I feel? Mean, it's it's going to definitely. You could say like a Fuji's. Yeah. You know, yes. think Fuji's, think Outkast in yes. a sense, like you know, that's that's kind of like the attitude and the creativity that we come come with and we we do we are hip hop. I don't want to say we're a hip hop group because we do so much, but I mean we are hip hop but we are Caribbean. So really all our music have a Caribbean feel to it. Every single song. You know? You like literally our album sound like two dudes from rock that'll make music. Yes sir. You know, so I don't want nobody to post in the back and say, yo, this is a rap group. I don't know, this is a singing group. Man, I'm an alternative. Man, I'm an pop, man. But with that being no. said, with that being said, two dudes from St. Thomas who don't make music, how do you think that's going to do from a commercial standpoint? You think the world is from ready to accept that? I think the world is ready to accept it because like, they, they accept Rihanna. Right. You know, right. you know, they, you know they, they, like I say, like I say, man, Think the Fuji's, you know, we like. Um, I'm that being more on the hard hip hop, urban, southern flair, that feel it. And then we have songs that are extremely melodic. And like I say, if you've been a Rock City fan, okay. If you've been a Rock City fan all these years, this album sounds like a Rock City album. I uh, know. This what? sound like the Black. This this the, our album now sound like the Black Beatles mixtape. The, our album now sound like just music that we've made that people have been supporting throughout the Virgin Islands. If you've been, if you grew up on us, if you always would be like, yo, I love them, I love... Then our last mixtape that we just dropped, you know what I'm saying? That we, you know, with Crunk Master Slick, and that's what our album is. We yeah. really figure out, like, yo, dude, no matter what you're talking about, talk to American. Right. Caribbean for a Right. Okay. Well, I mean, now, mm -hmm. now, now you mentioned Fuji's and and Outkast, which are like the greatest hip hop groups of all time. <laughs> um, other musical influences, like who helped mold who you are today? The groups really did. I mean, definitely Jay Z from a hip hop standpoint. You know, 
And I mean, you know, we grew up, we grew up on rock, man. Buju, Junior Gang, Bob Marley, Steel Pulse. You know what I'm saying? Dylan, Sizzla, Bounty. You know, these are people that we grew up listening to, but same way, DMX and Jay Z and Method Man and Red Man and Buster Rhymes and yes, them is people that like Missy Elliott and them is people that we, you know, that oh. we grew up listen, listening to as well. And you know, we just have an electric air for music and a, a wide bar- variety of music just through our veins. So. We just influ- we just influenced by that, you know what I'm saying? And just of, by music period. And of course, the the late great Nick Daddy Friday, one of the baddest Calypso Yo. songs ever. I hate my baby mama. Still the ring in the dance and send people mad. Uh, so I, I was I, I was actually gonna uh, mention <laughs> Missy because I remember when I was around you guys a lot. That was a major influence at that time, Missy Elliott. Um, like any heroes that you've met, like people that you looked up to. And and became friends with. I wouldn't say friends, but we met them. They were really cool, you know. Um, we haven't met Missy Elliott yet, but Nick Simbalan. That was like, oh man, that was dope. Right. Um, I try and think I know who else we meet that we were just like, yo, you know. Um, I meet you know, I meet Quincy Jones at an award show, and he come and he talk to me. Wow. And I don't know him from a kind of pain. And he just walked up to me and he was like, hey, man, how's the songwriting going? And okay. I swear to God, she there looking around like, me? <laughs> um, good, I guess. Right. You know? Right. And just stuff like that. And, you know, like, I mean, Foggy, Foggy was really awesome. That was like, yo, this is Foggy. Will I am. We're pretty much fans of all the people that we get to work with. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't want to sound like, Oh, we just too humble, man. But right. sometimes they're really surreal, man. She sometimes, I imagine. I sometimes imagine. I just, I just can't believe. Like, yo, I, I really remember being in housing, sharing a bed with my brother, yeah. sharing a, sharing a sandwich with my brother. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I really remember that, like it was yesterday. And now, now it's like, you know, it just, it just, it, amazing, man. It, it is amazing it, indeed. What can I explain it? It is amazing indeed. I know y'all got to go. It's early in the morning. Y'all got a long day ahead of you, however. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to start with this, right? I, I want to say big respect to my homeboy, Jay Swag, uh, Jamal, because many, many moons ago, I was a Crucian who was trying to work with these talented young brothers that I, that I saw. And um, at that time, however many years ago, I saw what you're experiencing right now. Unfortunately, you know what I mean? It didn't happen in the timing that, that I would have liked. Um, but it's happening. And I still have the same pride. And like Jamal is like living my life for me that I would have been living 15 years ago. And I'm so happy uh, that he's experiencing that. And congratulations to Jamal on the hard work that he's putting in and, and, yeah. and how you guys have embraced him as a member of the team. I mean, big respect for that. Oh, yeah, man. He don't walk. No, but J- J- I mean, but, you know, just to big up Jamal, I mean, like he come in, he walk hard. He, he just was eager to learn, and that was very important. And, you know, Jamal, Jamal moved to Atlanta. All he was supposed to do was follow us along with a camera. Right. Jamal is like, oh, what people do? Jamal, is, Jamal um, was the manager with Ray. Yeah. You know, understand what he's saying? Like, I do. He really, like, you know, like, really the, the do more of the stuff. Nine times out of ten is Jamal. We wait and I talk to Jamal, like, yo, what is Jamal in control? Of? kind of thing. So I just feel like, it just, I just happy that he's a, you know, that we have a virgin on our team, somebody young and upcoming, and you know, and just like he embr- and don't forget we embrace him. Yet. You know what I mean? And it's just nothing but love. We's really family. Well, all right, man, my brothers. Now let's let's get down to the nitty gritty. You guys are coming to Synchro U.S. Virgin Islands December twentieth. Deposit done, paid for, plane tickets, I think, were purchased today or early, early, early this morning. So um, how excited are you guys to come home on December 20th, considering the potential successes you you will be basking in? You know, I am, I am super excited because by the time we come home, the special, you know, the, the video should by then be on DC and it's jam. And by then, everybody should know all the words to the song. And, you know, we have so much other songs that we haven't been synchronized to perform yet. Like, all the stuff off the beat that we guys made, 
this is going to be the fourth since we released that next year that we come into St. Croix and we gain to perform all those songs. But, you know, we're very excited, man. You know, Big Boy always show us a lot of love. So I hope the people, you know, as ready as we are because we, 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 have, a, we have a really, really good show fun. Well, that's, really cool. yeah, that's what's up, man. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. And of course, man, as always, I got to let you brothers know that I am super proud of you, man. Truly, truly appreciative of your time this morning and continued success. And before I let you go, what was it like working with 2 Chains? That's our boy, man. He on the American Dream. He on this one. And like I said, he comes around, he do the voice. He made access twice. They were like, yo. And he just jump on it, you know what I'm saying? And we 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 fans of his, we fans of ours, we friends, and it's really cool. Now, you, you got any other heavyweight features on the album? Listen to me, I can't lie to you. We have some super duper, extremely <laughs> big monstrosity <laughs> this week. That's for pound heavyweight. Uh -huh. Okay, but we cannot say names right now. Just know. That is our album is a serious problem. Right, you, so you, you got a roly poly album. It's all about that bass. This thing heavy wit. <laughs> yo, you're gonna be like, wait, how they get I do? Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. why you're gonna be like, oh, really? All right. How they, how they get I do? <laughs> that's, what, that's what I think. All right, give me a projected yeah, release date. Right. Like, like around when we could expect the full album. Well, hopefully next year, second quarter, which okay. is anyway like March, April, May, sometimes around spring, you know, going into the summer. So that's the goal. We're still walking, but you know, you get a first song right now. You know, we hope, we hope, we hope to release more songs before the album come out. You know, this, you know, it's a new music business. It ain't like you just put one song and everybody want, but you know, we gotta release a, a more, you know. A multiple of songs so people could just be like, yo, you had that tune and that tune with Ah, they said for this album, this album crazy. That's the plan. You right. know what I'm saying? So look forward to hearing a couple more nice tunes before the album even drops. Well, and good. yo, I don't I don't I don't know if people are really ready for the video that pop in today, yo. Like when this video drops, right. I really feel like, you know, Virgin Islands people gonna really appreciate it because you know, we, we, we went back home. We went back to our old neighborhood that we grew up in. You know, we bring all the kids out, and everybody come out, show us a bunch of love. We, we buy food for everybody that come out in the hood. You know what I mean? We shoot it, we shoot scenes in Savannah. You know what I mean? And it was just a lot of love, man. And I, I hope people really ready to see this video. As much as we ready to see mm -hmm. but all, I hope people are ready to see it just as much. I know for sure people are ready to see it. We're ready to see it. It's going to be on visionary-one.com. We're giving it an early release, but on Monday it's going to be our video of the week. But we are giving it an early release later on today. So we are as excited as anybody else. Our current video of the week is a brand new pressure boss pipe. Which, in, if you haven't seen it, you can catch it on our website as well. And it is incredible as well. And I, I, I'm telling everybody, man, this is the Virgin Islands Renaissance right now. This, this time right here is the VI Renaissance. I'm talking about artists, musicians, this radio station. It's the Renaissance, baby. Oh, no. It's the time. Let's go. Let's go. All right, man. I appreciate your time. I know you got to go. Thank you, Jay Swag. I appreciate you. And, of course, man, I got to say thank you to my brothers from another Hail Up, your mother and your father. For me, please, big respect. Appreciate y'all all the time. Shout-outs to Ray as well. And earlier when, when Tehran mentioned that, that Jamal handles a lot of business, uh, in the promotion of this event, I've been doing all the, the business end of things with Jamal, true professional, and I really appreciate you, bro. Respect, respect, big up, man. Thanks a lot, Rashidi. Enough love, man. Virgin Islands people love I to death. Uh, you make us two years, and think we can't wait for when we come down there because it's a real crazy just we coming with. It's a problem. Yes, Absolutely. sir. Absolutely.